cheap food. Those are food that will kill your liver. That is the fact. So be drinking water. Don't say, I don't drink water, I drink juice. No, that will kill your liver. Well, welcome back to our channel today, Gossip. If you're here for the first time, kindly click on the red icon that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon. This will notify you when we'll drop new video. Thank you all. God bless. So you got to remove all those packaged food. You see, when you go to the supermarket in Nigeria, there are frozen food. All those frozen food that you think you want to show off, I have money, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, high class, I want to take packaged food and put it in the microwave. Don't do that. Because those packaged food, they're full of sodium. Full of sodium. Sodium is equal to sugar, all those things. They are full of sodium. So when you, instead of preparing your food fresh, uh, you, you go to the market, fresh, fresh, um, fresh, uh, fresh vegetable and fresh everything and fresh meat. You want to go buy frozen uh, chicken, frozen uh, turkey and uh, frozen food, frozen uh, vegetables. Instead of cutting your vegetable that is so fresh coming from, uh, from farm, that is better than you going to go buy the frozen one. Too much rice is bad too. Yes, uh, Carla, yes, because the starchy converts to sugar. Yes. Rice and all that, you're going to remove all that. Rice, you can eat rice because you are so used to rice. You can, if you were eating this rice before, eat half of, uh, half of your face. That will, that will uh, add to your, to your, to your healthiness on, on, in your liver. So uh, all those packaged food, remove them from your diet. All those fast food, don't go to McDonald's. Go to a real restaurant if you want to go to a restaurant or you cook your own food. Then those sugar, don't eat too much sugar. If you must eat, if you were eating this sugar before, just eat this one a little bit, just so have the, the, the taste. Because if you don't have sodium also in your system, that's trouble also. So remove all those things from your diet. That will make your liver healthy. So the first one, the first herb, some herb. There are some herbs that will make your liver also healthy. So you know the turmeric. I think everybody should know what turmeric is. We have it in Nigeria. Uh, there are fresh ones, there are powdered ones, and there are ones who are tablets. I have a friend who takes two turmeric tablets a day because you need 1,000 milligram turmeric a day to make your liver healthy. So if you are consuming the fresh turmeric, if you are blending the fresh turmeric, just make sure you blend like a, like a, a tablespoon, a tablespoon when you blend it, measure it a tablespoon. You can put it any any of your food. You can add it to your to your uh, soup or to your rice or whatever you want to eat, just to keep your liver healthy. Then the other one is milk torso. I don't know if we have milk. I don't know how to explain that milk torso in Nigeria. We have milk torso here. So what you can do, you can Google it if we have it in Nigeria or not. Milk, like M-I-L-K, and the torso is T-H-I-S-T-L-E. Milk torso will make, if you drink that, or if you take that it, every day, will make your liver healthy. So the other one is um, uh, the turmeric. The turmeric will decrease your liver inflammation. That's, if your liver is swollen, Turmeric decreases the swollenness of your liver. And when it's decreased, that's healthy, your healthy liver right there. So the next one is dandelion. So let me spell that for you. I don't know also if we have that in Nigeria. That's, that detoxify your liver. Every, every chemical that comes into your liver, this one right here knocks it off. So the spelling is dandelion. So let me spell it for you. It's D-A-N-D-E-L-I-O-N. So D-A-N-D-E-L-I-O-N. So when you Google all this, you should know in your area or in your country if you have all these fruits in there. But I'm pretty sure we have it in Nigeria there might be a different name. I don't know what they call it, the milk torso, I don't know what they call it in Nigeria, but if we Google it, if we live in Nigeria, we Google it, we should know where to get 
exact that milk. So the next one, the fourth one is you have to eat liver, the real liver of 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 of, of chicken. I like um apart from fish, I will eat chicken. I don't even uh, you know when they said they stop. They, they, um, they're threatening to stop meat in Nigeria. Bravo, please stop it. Because you are not doing us any favor by selling cow meat. Guys, stop eating cow meat. Go on, go on uh, fish and vegetable. It's more healthy for your body. Cow meat is red meat. That will blow your cancer cells up. So, bravo. I'm, you know, I give kudos to that man. And that says he's not going to sell cow, uh, cow meat to us anymore. Thank you so much for doing us a favor. That's a big favor right there. So you eat liver, the real liver. To, to make your liver healthy, eat liver. Eat liver, especially chicken liver. Eat liver. If you cannot eat liver, there are liver tablets. Over where I live, there are liver tablets. So I don't know if we have liver tablets in Nigeria. Or in, it should be in Europe, at least that's a Western world. So you eat, you take a, a tablet of liver, and you read as directed every day. I eat if you can't eat liver, I can eat liver. I can eat anything. So um, if you cannot eat liver, if you cannot stand eating liver, you can take the liver tablet. That will make your liver healthy. So um, the next one is the fifth one. Consume food like salad, sour food, and uh, green tomatoes, um, apple cider vinegar. Consume that for your healthy liver. That will make your liver healthy. We have something we call beets. We call beets. I think beets should be in, uh, in Europe also. We have beets in America. Uh, it, it's called beets. Uh, B-E-E-T-S. So, um... It's a, it's a fruit. You can eat it raw or you cook it. So that uh, is, we, we call it beets here. I don't know what's called in Europe, but in Nigeria, we should have beets. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a vegetable that will, that will make your liver healthy. Then you eat green, especially green, like green apple, green, everything green is good for you, for your health. Beet fruit. Okay, beet root. Okay, in Nigeria, Kemi just helped me out. Beet root. So we call it beets here. We don't add roots to it. See, everywhere is different. So beet root. If you know what beet root is, okay, in UK is big beet root. Okay, I don't know what it's called in Nigeria, but it's beet. Ah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, you eat green and you eat um, uh, beets and you also drink apple cider vinegar. Apple cider, we have apple cider here, uh, which will nourish your, your liver, so we can keep our liver healthy, so all the junk can go out. Then the last, um, but not the least, I'll tell you, this is from a doctor that I listened to. It said, always make sure you walk your body's emotion in the right way. You got that? Uh, 200 naira for one big uh, beet root. Oh, okay. That's not bad at all. I think almost everybody should be able to, to, um, to afford that, hopefully, in Nigeria. If, um, you know, you are rather buy the, the beet root than go buy a cow. That is just a fact. Because the beet root will give your liver a healthy liver. So the cow will not do nothing to you. That's just a fact. So pick a beet root over cow meat. I beg of you guys. So work on your emotion very well. This is a doctor that I listened to about liver, to keep your liver healthy. He said, emotion affects your liver being healthy or being damaged. It was so, it was so, it was so educating. Oh my God, guys! Stop sending me message. You're you're interrupting my my uh, video here. So it says, work on your emotions. Always make sure. He said, the ancient Chinese medicine has proven that frustrations, non-forgiveness, shutting will shut down your liver. 
Can you imagine what, you know, the little things we take for granted and the little things we don't even think about? The Asian Chinese medicine has proven by Dr. Whitner Price, has gone around the whole world to prove the Asian Chinese uh, medicine has proven has proven that I keep getting messages, guys. My my, uh, I hope my what they call it, my volume is not down. So the Asian uh, Chinese medicine has proven that when we don't work on our, our emotions, it will shut down our liver. So starting from now that I hear that message, I am go. I you know I'm not somebody that carry grudges anyway. When you carry grudges, it will shut down your liver. That is a piece of information I got from that MD. It's like, what? How does that happen? And he started explaining. I don't have all the time to explain all that. But he, say, he said, oh my God. He said, sorry guys, if, you, if, the, if the volume goes down a little bit, you know that it's all the messages that's pouring in my, in my, uh, in my messenger. So he said, and I can't control that. <laughs> and he said, Frustrations. Always make sure you know how to control and contain your frustration. When you are frustrated, you sit back and take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. If you have somebody, like a friend or a sister that you usually would talk to, that will talk you, you know, talk positivity into you and show you how to take a deep breath. Call that person right away. But before you do that, sit back. Take a deep breath and just say, no, I'm not going to be frustrated. I'm going to talk to my confidant. Call that person. Talk to that person. Then non-forgiveness. Non-forgiveness will shut your liver down. Non-forgiveness will shut your liver down. That is amazing. When I heard this information, it's like, what? What are you talking about? Say, yes, frustration, non-forgiveness we shut your liver down. That's from Asian Chinese medicine. So what you can do in the morning when you wake up, say, say what you are grateful for. Gra uh, gratitude. Gratitude is one number one of keeping your liver healthy. We're only talking about liver. We're not talking about heart or blood pressure yet. So Toby, thank you so much, man. Oh, thank you, Beef. So, um, to be to keep your liver healthy, you must be you must show some gratitude to yourself. Wake up in the morning. Don't wake up angry. You will kill yourself. You will know that you are you are harming yourself and not the other person because they are moving on as a mean and wicked people. They are happy that they are making you miserable. So what you do to pay them back so you can stay alive and stay healthy is just laugh at them and forgive them. Forgive them. I'm like, oh, okay, I forgive you, whatever. You're not going to, you know, whatever. You're not going to stop my happiness. Ha <laughs> ha. That's how you must do that. You must push it back to them and forgive them for your liver's sake, for the healthiness of your liver. So you're going to wake up in the morning and be some and show your gratitude to God. Or... Or you're going to wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, this is what I'm grateful for. First of all, God, you woke me up. I'm up and alive. And I have breakfast on my, on my table. Oh my God, thank you, Almighty Father. I have two legs and I have two hands. I can see. Some people are blind. You know, gratitude it goes a long way. I can't start counting that. You guys know what gratitude means. Be very grateful. And please, leave the mean people. Leave the wicked people that want to make your life miserable. Leave them in a distance, but in your heart. Don't see them on the street and start, Ooh, all your, now your mind is jumping, all your heart is racing. You're killing yourself. Why they will stay to uh, 100 years old? Then you, you will die because you are mad at somebody. Don't do that. Don't do that. When you go on the street, when you see that enemy that thought you're going to die, because they are wicked and you are a kind person. And don't ever you blame yourself for having a, a good mind. Don't you ever do that. Do not ever blame yourself for having a good mind. You must always be grateful that God gave you the mind 
he gave you. Because you look at those people that are so mean. You, you look at Shogore's attitude in detention. That should give us example. Like, he's worried about other people instead of worried about him. He's not worried about him. It's just a change of environment. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? So all of us should learn that kind of behavior. You see all those enemies that is wanting you to, oh, I will do that person. I will do when I when I spread their name, eh? When I spread that person's name, eh? It, it will be miserable. No. The more they spread your name, you say, ha, ah, who are you? You're not God. You didn't create me. So go the, the other way. I have forgiven you. You keep moving on. You know what I mean? So don't see them. Don't see all those enemies. Don't see, please share this video to get to the person that needs it right now. Don't see those enemies and start, oh, oh, oh. Then you start all your heart, start jumping beat. You're killing your heart, you're killing your liver. Your liver is going to shut down, you're going to die, and the, and the wicked person will still be wicked, no matter what. Now you are dead, you didn't enjoy your children or enjoy your family, don't do that. Do not do that. Respond to this discussion and not necklace. <laughs> Who's talking about necklace there? Oh, it's okay. Okay, okay. is always talking about necklace. Don't worry about him. <laughs> he's my he's my body buddy. It's okay. He can talk about necklace. Um so don't read out yeah, read out Sarah. I hear you. So those enemies be gra everybody must be gratitude every day. This is my sister, Princess Judith. Welcome. We find time to go out, we go eat, we not send. You know what I mean? So you must live that life like that. Don't let anybody call the enemy or whatever they want to call themselves. Don't forget that nobody has created you. Nobody must validate you. So that's how you must see it. So for anybody that offends you, you forgive them. It's not because that thing hasn't happened. It's because you are protecting your liver. And you are protecting your heart. So don't see them and start squeezing face. Uh, uh, now, oh, you're all mad. Instead of having fun, you're all tense. You can't have fun. You shut yourself all down. No, don't do that because that's what they want. You do not want to do what it, the devil wants. You want to do what God wants you to do. So what God wants is for you to be grateful. To be show some gratitude. God, I'm alive. The weather is beautiful. I'm beautiful. I have my legs. I have my hands. I can see, I have my eyes, I have food on the table, and I, I go out there, and you know, I jump in the car and I have a job. Oh my God, I'm not sick in the hospital. You must be grateful. When you are grateful, your liver is going to be healthy. That is the fact. Do not let the enemy win at all times, because wicked people are always going to be wicked no matter what. They are born that way, and I hope they change because the last day they're going to rot in hell. That is the fact. So when you think you want, to be we you want to be mean to other people, you must do that. So they can be miserable. No, honey, you are doing yourself. Because if you don't have time to change and you die in your wickedness, you're going to rot in hell. So your sins is your sin. My, mine is mine. So don't talk about mine. Because... When on the last day, when you get there, God is not going to ask you about my sin. He's going to ask you about yours. So don't worry about me, honey. I'm all set. I'm not going to be perfect. Neither are you. So stop judging anybody because you are not in position to do that. God has already planned all that out. So mind your business. And everybody that is mad, mad at anybody today, they offend you. Please forgive them. It's not because they didn't do you wrong. It's because you want your liver not to shut down. Tell them, I'm forgiving you, but you keep rolling. Don't cross my way because I'm forgiving you. I'm going to have fun. I don't even know if you exist anymore. Because in my book or in my head, you are dead and buried. How's that? So always make sure you have that behind your head. Don't let nobody. Don't let nobody condemn you. Do not let nobody validate you. The only spirit that can validate you is God. That's it. That's it. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody. So long as you have your children in your arm and God, you're good. And all your family, your good family. You know, the, the not so good one that makes you miserable, love them in a the distance. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You tell them, you go over there. 
when you when you ratify yourself and you you are okay with your annoyance and you're okay to be around me you come around then we will be good but you if you're negative and you're nasty to me i don't need you around me you stay right there and i'll love you in a distance that is the fact so please share this video because i'm gonna shut off this video and we're gonna come back and send message to nigerian police department and we're gonna talk about those children that were born and i've never seen anywhere where children will be sleeping in a plastic chair we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about wello uh wello um uh, spare part market in in Benin. we're going to be sending messages to all the traders that is a hard whew, that's a hard fat loss right there and we're going to be sending message to president Muhammad Buhari to release showery I know, show worry, don't even care, don't mind being there for 45 days, but when you go there, don't try to make up any story about him being released, because you're going to release him, you are holding him on baseless, baseless, don't make up anything, because there's God watching, you have, you have done revolution and protest before against Jonathan, nobody has held you, so please do not make up story, DSS, do not make up stories because you know what? We all have one God to answer to on the last day. So don't make up story. You know this boy wants the goodness of Nigeria. You all don't. So that is just a fact. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this and we'll send message to Nigerian police. We'll send message to Mr. Muhammad Buhari to release Showare because he hasn't done anything wrong. He's the only person right now that really wants the betterment of Nigeria. Not them. And we're going to be talking about Nigeria healthcare system. How deteriorating, how downgrading is it for somebody to have triplets or quadruplets? I think she has quadruplets. And you put babies, new babies, on plastic chairs. God forbid, how about they turn and turn and fall? That's brain damage right there. What kind of system is this? Awful, awful. How are you? How are you? I have been telling them to enjoy themselves that is go good for their health. Thank you so much, Mommy. I love you for this. Oh, thank you. So everybody keep sharing. Uh, you please share. So I'm going to shut this up, guys. Um, I'm going to see you guys just in one second. We're going to be doing the, um, the, um, the politic, uh, political talk. So uh, thank you so much for listening to this. But I hope you all share it in every every page so people will know what we can do to keep our liver healthy no matter what in all these troubles in everything we still need to stay healthy and stay here and enjoy the atmosphere god has has blessed us with look at the accident that happened in benin lagos road look at i just look at this woman i couldn't even finish watching it she she's ba she's barely alive She's trying to see the husband is alive with the baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How can this president say that this country is working? Eh? If it was in the Western world, wouldn't we have a helicopter all over, the, uh, all over the place? So we're going to shut this off. And you guys, hang in there and come right back. Invite your friends. Let's talk about politics. Thank you, guys. Yeah.